Hi guys, thanks for joining my YouTube channel. So chime in if I get anything uh, wrong. Uh, discuss this matter with me. Uh, let me get this straight uh, from what I know. Uh, last uh, season, we left off with um, Marceau going into Atlanta for the day. Okay, it is not said what he went into Atlanta for, but we find that a picture started circulating social media of his back, and then we find out that he was in Atlanta the day that this picture allegedly was supposed to have been taken, and it was said that it was taken in a hotel. We also find out that he was in a hotel. How ironic. Okay, so um, let me break this down. He does admit to being in Atlanta. I believe it was January 4th. Okay. We find that there was a picture circulating around with someone placing him in Atlanta in a hotel around or about, give or take, I believe, you know, the January 4th time frame. So he does admit to his wife, well, actually, he admits to Wanda that, yes, he was in a, um, Atlanta. He doesn't know whose picture that is, of whose back that is. He said he's never seen his back, so he doesn't know if that was him, ironically. Okay, you know if you was in a bed in a hotel, you may not know that somebody took a picture, but it's possible. So he's confirmed that he's, you know, he was in Atlanta. He's confirmed to Wanda that he was at a hotel. He also confirmed that he didn't stay at the hotel. So, you know, he, you know, he was at the hotel for the day. He indicated as well that he was there with a friend. Okay. He also said that he went to dinner. Wow, this is getting worse and worse. You okay? So you you're you're a gentleman. You're a married man, okay? And you are in another state during the day. Your wife is unaware, okay? You get a hotel room. You can to get to talk business, but it's not likely, okay? You could talk business over dinner, no. Okay, so he gets a hotel room. He goes to dinner. He said with a friend. He doesn't indicate if it's a male or female, but we are to assume that it was a female. Why would you be going to a hotel room with a male friend? And you guys aren't staying over. So he makes it clear that he didn't stay over. He went home that, that night. You know, however many hours he was in Atlanta, you know, at some point, he went home. Okay? So we see Tisha questioning him. You know, he skates around because he can do that because she's not going to grill him, you know, the way Wanda grilled him um, at Black, the restaurant, the, um, you know, the bar. And so, you know, he gives Tisha a story, and we later find out that he said the friend was Chris Fletcher. Okay, you know, he just comes out of the, the ear uh, and gives a name. He's, you know, she asks what friend, and he says Chris Fletcher. Okay, you know, we know Chris is into real estate. They're friends. It's possible. But then we find out that Chris said, yes, I saw him. I was there. But for one and a half, two hours, Chris indicates that, yeah, that's it. I only saw him for about no more than two hours. So he had, and he said, he had all this other time to do whatever. You know, and we don't even know if Chris's wife knew that he was in Atlanta. You know, it just opened up a whole can of worms for him. But Chris is saying... Yeah, I was there, but I, that's about it. You know, he doesn't say why he was there, 
what they were there for, what they discussed. It seemed to me like Chris was throwing Marceau under the bus. That's just my take on how he explained it. You know, he didn't go into detail and say, yes, you know, me and Marceau met in Atlanta. We had business. We, had, You know, he didn't, he didn't add anything additional. He just gave his whereabouts, you know, confirmed that, yes, I did see him that day, but as far as him using me as an alibi, no. And I found that to be ironic that Chris didn't even try to like clean up, you know, behind Marceau, clean up the situation or, you know, even lie for him, perhaps. He said, yeah, I saw him for a short time. You know, maybe they did go out to eat or whatever, but he's like, I don't know what else he did with the rest of his time there because he didn't spend the whole day with me. You understand? And so I thought with, I mean, Chris wants to be on the up and up. You know, he wants to be transparent and clear. It seems with his wife, he doesn't want to get mixed up in this kind of behavior. And so, you know, he's going to tell his truth, you know, and, and make it clear as possible. Whereas if he wanted to really look out for Marceau and perhaps um, if he is lying, he would have said more to the fact of, yes, we were we were together all day. Yes, we met. You know, we had we went to a restaurant. You know, he got a hotel. We sat and chilled in there. You know, he would have added some more and tried to clean it up. But that's not what Chris Fletcher did. So I guess we'll find out in these upcoming episodes uh, when they uh, go back into that storyline. Because right now, Marceau, the situation doesn't look good, you know, because we see Chris talking to uh, Martel saying like, yo, I don't know what this guy got me involved in, but I mean, I saw him that day, but. You know, it was only for a short time, hour and a half, two hours tops. So, you know, I can't really give his whereabouts or tell you what else he did with his time in Atlanta. But it was not with me. So that's what we have so far. Uh, we'll continue to uh, look at this story. And because I could have sworn, you know, I, I look back into uh, the old video that I had. And I knew that they had indicated a hotel room, but it seems like in these upcoming episodes, they don't mention the hotel, you know, and I'm there talking, you know, in the video and saying, hotel, like, we know you're not going to a hotel with a guy, but maybe, you know, maybe he did, you know, you never know. But it just sound very sketchy. But I guess we'll uh, time will tell and, you know, we'll see what he comes up with uh, when the episode airs again. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.